Executives of Research in Motion, the maker of the BlackBerry smartphone, have been getting some heat as shares hit a 52-week low. Last week, a Canadian investment group asked the company to divide the roles of chairman and CEO. Right now, both roles are shared by Jim Balsillian and Mike Lazaridis. Joining us from Vancouver is Bob Walker, vice president of NEI Investments, the very firm that is petitioning to have Research in Motion restructure its executive board. So, Bob, first of all, why are you recommending that the role be separated, or is the problem really that you think that Lazaridis and Balsilli could be doing a better job? Well, it's, it's more the former than the latter. Uh, separating chair and, B, and uh, CEO is a pretty standard practice at this stage amongst corporate governance experts and amongst uh, RIMS competitors. Uh, at this point, we'd like the company to take the step to separate those two positions uh, in the hope that that might help restore investor confidence. But frankly, we'd be following this resolution even if the share price was buoyant. This is a standard practice of, of corporate governance. It's a forward-looking indicator of, of best governance, governance practice, and we'd like to see the company uh, follow that and, and bring this back in. But if it's the same two people in two different positions, how much of a change can you really expect? Well, one of the jobs of the, the, the director uh, of the board is to evaluate the CEO's performance and, and hire and fire the CEO. Uh, if, the, if the chair of the board is the CEO, that kind of makes uh, that action a little bit more difficult to take. Um, but also to be clear, we're not advocating for any change uh, in the CEO or the senior leadership at the management level. We're just asking for the implementation of a basic governance practice that uh, we think most investors around the world will support. All right, let's head out to the newsroom where our editor-at-large, Corey Johnson, is standing by with some questions. Corey? Yeah, Bob, when, when you look at this company, do you look at this as a value play? The stock is, uh, for a technology company of this size, this kind of growth, it's trading at five times earnings that, and with it throwing off a lot of free cash, that normally would be a value play. Is that how you guys look at this? Yeah, we are primarily a value investor, and we think RIM's a very strong company in a variety of ways. We've had some historic engagement with, with, uh, with the company on different issues around supply chain risk, and have found the company to be very progressive and, and very positive. All that's going very well. Uh, but on this one governance practice, uh, we think the, the, the company's falling down a bit. It certainly is lagging its peers here. And uh, it's something it needs to address. Again, we'd be fine this resolution, even if the, the share price was good. Uh, but our expectation is that at this stage, uh, separating the chair and CEO would be one step the company could take to help restore investor confidence. Now, of the two, which one, which one has more problems? Is it the Canucks or the Bruins? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's a different question. Uh, uh, I do expect <laughs> the Canucks to uh, come out on top this evening, but uh, we'll see. That's why we play the game. All right, thanks so much. Bob Walker from NEI Investments joining us from Vancouver.